Ah, uh, there's nothing like that first ever shift, right? I've done Walmart unloading trucks. I've done customer service answering 100 plus calls a day. Think back to a time where you had your first ever shift. Well, that's what Lavaris is doing in Texas, driving for DoorDash for the first time. Now, obviously, there can only be one first shift. My first shift on DoorDash was probably five-ish years ago. Now, this is all I do here. I help you make money in different side hustles. I've basically done them all. So what mistakes is Lavaris probably going to make as a first-time DoorDash dasher? And I've sat with new dashers during their shift. I've talked to dashers, and obviously, I've seen quite a few first shifts so i'm not going to give up on doordash but i do have to make some money there's a point pickup order that's in here it's 10 point pickup ten dollars 23 cents 1.5 miles Folks, I'm just saying, I've done point pickup as well here in Pittsburgh, and I kind of like them as one of my favorite filler apps or backup side hustles, point pickup. Let me know if that's in your market. All right, let's take a look here. $7.50, this order, pickup from Papa Joe. Okay, he's already accepted. I wish we would have saw the order screen. <laughs> so I can see, you know, the miles, what have you. 750 is not bad. As long as it's, again, we're aiming for $1.75, ideally two to $3 plus per mile. Hold on. What does this text say? Hey, DoorDash here. Got the food. Confirm and drop off. No contact delivery. We'll text when items. Okay. Let, let's, let's talk about this. Controversial or not. Do you need to do this? No. Is it going to increase tips? Provide the customer with a better experience? Or is it just going to be like, phone spam like i dude i know because the app shows you the person's tracking you on their computer on their phone it says arrived it says picking up it says on the way and then it shows you the destination i mean it's not is it gonna kill you if you send a text like this no do i advise it i don't i would say only really text if there's an issue hey I, i'm still at the restaurant i'm still waiting hey they're out of mountain dew they have this and this would you prefer this again it's not going to kill you but is it going to lead to more money let me know down below Arrive. i don't really have problems with hotels have any spots for us to park he's making a delivery the customer requested that they well that he drops it off at their actual room door I've had both. What have you had? If you, and again, this is his first day, so he doesn't really know what's the status quo. Ugh, comment down below because I feel like for some reason, I don't mind delivering to the door at a hotel, more so than an apartment complex because I feel like it's just laid out easier. And this could just be me. I have no idea. I feel like it's laid out easier at a hotel versus an apartment. I, I don't know. That's my hunch, but I've, always deliver to the customer's room if need be, but I have no problem leaving it here in the lobby. Okay, next order here, it's mirrored, but <laughs> we'll make do. $10.25 for five miles, it looks like, it's fuzzy. That's a good dollars to mile ratio. I mean, $2 a mile there. Now, he, here's the old screen. Again, you're getting the standard 45 seconds, but he does have the older order request screen. For this hour, I'm just gonna roll with the punches because I can see where this is taking me as far outside of my zone, which is where I normally don't like to go. But mm, just for the mm -hmm. sake of the video and just having a little fun. <laughs> sake of the content, exactly, I hear you. So, see, that's one of the things you have to consider if you're new to these gig apps, is that ending destination because positioning matters. If you see on that order request, even if it's like $1.80 a mile, it seems pretty good. Oh, it's a good restaurant. Normally they're on the ball. But if it ends, I'd say 10 minutes out of busy zones, power strips, we call it. Do you want to go out there? Is it worth it? Uh, so you're outside of the zone. Yes. Can you get orders? Yes. I mean, do you want to head back? So here's what you can do. Here's what we've always called a shift audible. So if you're outside the zone like this, yes, you can get orders still. Ideally, they want you back in the zone because obviously those dashers are going to be preferred. Now, a shift audible would be seeing that little gray zone there versus the darker zone that he's currently scheduled and working in that's you can go offline you can end your dash if you think this zone is going to be busy enough via dash now to go online now that's risky of course because you could go 
offline and your dash and then try to go online in the immediate zone and it's not busy enough or there's better peak pay in the original zone so he's not super far away i mean yeah again i'd i'd go back in try to drive back into this zone you can also multi-app so there'll still be business miles go online with let's say uber eats Grubhub while you're driving back to this zone if you're really trying to focus on DoorDash. Not to mention the fact that I have a brand new account, so DoorDash is probably trying to lure me in, sending me a lot of pretty decent Ooh. offers. As is that true? What do you, if you're a new Dasher or a new gig worker, anything, Spark, Shift, Instacart, Grubhub, anything, will the app send you more enticing orders because you're new? I don't know. <laughs> Comment down. We don't, because they, they've never really any of these apps said you'll get better orders or priority to orders in general and or better orders just because you're new. But I've thought that as well. So what do you think? Do you think there are some, you know, toss you a cookie, give you a better order, higher bonus pay, orders that have tips or higher tips? just because you're new as i become more seasoned and a more veteran delivery driver i wonder if those orders are still going to look just as good or if these areas are going to stay that busy i have to say my first impressions of doordash wasn't that great only because of all the issues i ran into just trying to start my dash but once i got into a zone Glitchy the orders that i did receive were pretty decent as far as the pay compared to the miles definitely looking forward to adding doordash to my arsenal of infinity apps because with the absence of corner shop i'm definitely gonna need it good stuff lavaras from gig life link to down below in the description and if you want to see more first shift reactions let me know any videos down below and there's also one from lavaris his first ever walmart spark shift maybe that could be next let me know down below